everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting the all new, the all dancing Iron Jaws Ard Boys. Yes, here they are. They're a fantastic new addition, well, reimagining, I should say, of the Ard Boys kit, and they look absolutely fantastic, as I'm sure you'll all agree at home. And well, they've been sent to me early by Games Workshop to build up and paint for all of you, and that is exactly what we are going to be doing. Now, I've got five here. I'm going to be painting them in that classic yellow as well. And well, we're just going to jump in and we're going to start painting. We're probably just going to focus on the kind of boss, which is this one with his axe raised, and this one here. But if anything comes up, we shall, of course, point it out when we get to it. So they've all been primed in Wraithbone. And the colour we're going to be using first is Gut Ripper Flesh. We're going to be applying this over the top of all of their skin. Now there's not tons of skin on show here, which is quite nice. They're just very well armed, very well armoured boys. But nonetheless, do have to get this on there. Now one thing to definitely watch out for is their ears. It's always the easy one to forget. So with that all done, it might seem weird to do this now, but what we're going to do is we're going to take some bale tan green. I'm going to use this to shade all of the skin. We're doing this nice and early so that if we do make any mistakes, we can always clean them up if we need to. And similarly, it just gets it out of the way. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this to the trousers. So what we're going to do is we're going to just load up our brush here and we're going to start applying this. Now, we are going to be applying Black Legion over the top of a number of armor panels as well, but at this point it's a little bit easier to just apply the Black Legion over the trousers so that we, one, get that bit out of the way two, you can see where we're going with this. Because what we're also going to do is we're going to apply this over the top of the little tabards that they have. And we're going to apply this over the top of any of the cloth hanging down around their backs. However, if they've got cloth hanging around or down by their fronts, so around here, for example, this one doesn't have it, and neither does this one, but uh, this one certainly does. We're gonna do that in a different color. So we're just gonna apply this Black Legion like we're doing here. And then once this is done, we'll come back. So with that Black Legion applied, it'll come clear as to why we've done it that way. And in fact, I haven't done this one's tabard because we are gonna use that as the example of doing the other color of cloth. However, what we are gonna do is we're gonna now take some Iron Jaws Yellow. And we're gonna use this to obviously paint in the armor, but we're not gonna be doing all of the armor. We're gonna be doing some of it in order to give it that kind of patchwork type thing. So on this guy, for example, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this all over the top of the kind of 
shin pads and the boots. Like this. Bring it all the way around. Make sure we get over the entirety of the boot. Like that. We're then not going to do the knee and we're not going to do the hip either. But we are going to do the other boot. Do that as one as well. Just like this. There we go. And then we just make sure that we get all the way around like that. So now that the boots are done, what we're going to do is we're going to apply the Iron Jaws Yellow over the top of this little bit of armor on his tummy. Like that. We're then going to apply this over the top of his left bracer and glove or gauntlet. Like so. And then I think to finish him off, we're going to do two more bits. Firstly, we're going to do this bit up here. And we'll do the other side, but for now we'll just leave it at that half. And the other thing we're going to do here. We're going to paint in the shield. And you kind of want to just approach all 10 of them like this type of fashion. Like you just want to kind of pick them at random, come up with some cool and different looking armor suits, give them that really kind of higgledy piggledy nature, ramshackle armor type thing. However, one thing I will point out, or at least suggest, is that on your big boss, give him a different coloured shield. So with all of that Iron Jaws yellow applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to once again take Black Legion. And this time, we're now going to apply it to some of those other armor panels so for example on this guy here we're going to apply this over the top of the knee like so. We're going to apply it over the top of this kind of waist bit. Like so. I'm going to apply this over this shoulder up here. 
And we're also going to apply this over the top of the shield, because this one's our boss. So similarly again, just leaving behind some of the armor panels. So that we can do them a different color. So with that now done, just before we do all the metallics, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Saigor Brown and we're gonna apply this over the top of any of our remaining straps. So this is like the belts and things like that. We're not gonna be doing this over those kind of arm and leg wraps. We're just looking for leather details. So with that done, we also applied the Saigor Brown over this tabard just down here, as I talked about, we having a different color. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take some Skeleton Horde, and we're gonna apply this over the top of any kind of tooth trinkets. So we've got one just down here. Like that. But we're also gonna apply this over the top of is the tusks. So with that skeleton horde all applied, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron warriors. And we're gonna apply this over pretty much all the remaining details except for all those soft wraps around the arms and legs. and this axe pole here. Just whilst we're waiting for all that iron warriors to dry, what we're going to do is we're going to take some wild wood and we're gonna apply this over the top of the axe pole. And if you have the spears or stickers, this is what I would do here. So with that all done and our silver should finally be dry, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade. We're going to apply this over the top of those soft wraps that we've avoided all this time. Like that. And we're also going to use this to shade all of the silver. So with that then done, we're then gonna take some Nulled Oil and we're gonna use this to shade all of our hard black details. So we're looking at the armor plates here. For example, just down there. And 
this one that goes across. Like so, got the knee. And of course, we have the shoulder and the shield. For our final shade, we're then gonna take some Seraphim Sepia. And we use this to shade all of the yellow. So with that done, our Ard boys are now at what I would call a war hipster battle ready, and they're looking pretty fabulous. However, we are of course not going to leave them there, no, we're going to take them to the next level, and we're going to do that by adding some highlights. Now the first highlight that we're going to use is some thinned down or phalanx yellow. I'm going to use this to highlight all of the yellow. So what we're looking to do here is just pick out all the edges. And one thing you will notice is there's these little ridges and dents and cuts and scrapes across the surface of these yellow armor plates. We want to highlight those too. So you see there's one just here. I'm gonna pick it out. So with that all done, what we're then gonna do is we're gonna take some thin down Dawnstone. I'm gonna use this to highlight all of our hard black details. So the armor, basically. And it's just the same thing again, as we've just done with the phalanx yellow. I'm gonna pick out all the edges. There's one of the kind of imperfections on the plate. So with all that Dawnstone applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thins down, administer our some grey, and we're going to use this to pick out the sharpest points in all those black details. Specifically the hard black details, we're not looking at the soft ones. So with that done, all of the black armor panels are now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Bane Blade Brown and use this to highlight all of the brown and all of the soft black details. So we've got, for example, on this chap's tabard just here. I'm just going to pick out those edges. like so. And 
And similarly, on the trousers back here, we're gonna start picking out edges. So with that Bane Blade Brown applied to those black and brown details, what we're now gonna do is we're gonna take some thinned down iron breaker. I'm gonna use this now to highlight all of the silver and as a consequence, finish off our iron jaws. That's really all it takes. And of course, now that their bases are complete, our Ard boys are all finished. The line infantry, the rank and file of the Iron Jaws, and they look absolutely stunning in this new version of the kit. I just really like these. <laughs> could see myself doing a bundle of them, but alas, we must move on to other things. But more Oryx content, it's always fun, really quick to do, and they're just really effective. I really like yellow armies. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to support me a little bit further, you absolutely can do. Head over to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And you can also become a YouTube channel member, just like this incredible bunch of folks scrolling up on the screen before you. There's a hell of a lot of you. And, well, I can't do this without you. YouTube and Patreon, you guys absolutely keep the lights on and make all of this worth it thank you so much to all of you for everything you do and if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks just click on the thanks button just below this video don't forget to share it like it comment on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to make sure you stay up to date don't forget to click the bell icon thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all very soon in the next one happy wargaming <laughs>